Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned. Today we are back with more Discord.js coding. Um, today we're going to be doing something called the report command. Um, it's just kind of using some advanced message, breaking down like different or different ways you can break down messages and use them to your ability. Um, this is just kind of to like give you ideas. Um, but first, I w do want to announce, not announce something, but um, let you guys know that we don't have to use set game anymore. We can use a different um, type of activity like watching, streaming, listening, um, as well as playing. So to do that, we're going to need to go to our folder. Right. Yeah, if I can find the right one. There we go. Tutorial. Uh, so wherever your bot is, you want to go ahead and hold shift and right click again and then open PowerShell window here. And we need to update discord.js. So to do that, we're going to do npm update discord.js. And then it's going to update. It'll take a second. All right. So once it's done updating, we can go ahead, close that window out, and we can change the code. So I'm just going to go ahead and comment this out and then move it down a little bit to make sure this works. All right. So we'll do the same beginning bot.user.setActivity and then we can type our string set activity let's say is watching tutorials on the source code and then comma and then we're going to set a type so curly brackets type watching Let's just make sure all that works by running our bot. Bots online. Go to Ned test. All right. So watch the tutorials on the source code. So that's just something a little extra I wanted to add in there just so we knew that we don't have to do set game anymore since that is a new update since the last time I made a video. All right. So let's get to the real tutorial today. Today we're going to be doing the report command. So like any other command. I can, I'm just going to go ahead and move these down a little bit just to give us some room. So let's go ahead and get the basic part of it set up. If command equals, oh, whoops, back ticks, dollar sign, curly brackets, prefix, report, then return. All right. So at first we need to get the user and then the reason. So let's go ahead and get the user. So let our user, oops, I'm going to capitalize that just to keep some kind of naming convention going here. Message.guild.member, and then parentheses, message.mentions.users.first. All right. And then we can throw in here or message.guild dot members dot get args zero all right so now that we have that we want to check and make sure it's not nulled or just a string so if our or sorry if not our user this is going to check if it's nulled return message dot channel dot send couldn't oops rather couldn't find user all right so let's get the reason let reason equal args that join and we're gonna join them with spaces and then that slice 22 so every ID every user ID is gonna be 22 arguments or 22 characters long rather um, so we're just gonna slice that from that um, I'm sure there's a better way to do this. This is just how I've kind of put this one together. Um, as always, if you have any suggestions of code, um, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll add annotations later if you do have suggestions that I would like to use. Um, so now that we have the reason, we can go ahead and start making the embed. So let report embed equal new discord dot rich embed parentheses 
All right, so we're gonna set description and we're gonna call it reports. All right, and that's always set color. And what color did we use before? Let's just keep it the same. I'm gonna copy that. All right, add field. And let's start with reported user. And here we can just put, now let's see here, we wanna do, all right, so we wanna do both the user and then just the user ID. So let's go ahead and put an object here, our dollar sign curly brackets, and then our user with ID. Okay, another object. Sorry, I'm struggling a little bit here. I'm, it's a little late at night. All right, so another object. Let's go ahead and put our user dot ID. Let's just go ahead and make sure that works. message dot channel dot send report embed all right so let's go ahead and open up discord and we can report the bot for now i'll teach you how to make it so you can't report bots later but reason here oh i guess we need to restart the bot that'll help so I'm hoping it works. Report at TSC bot test test. All right. So there we go. It is working. Let's go ahead and continue. And then let's add a field. Reporter reported or reporting user or reported by. Let's put reported by. And then add a field. Then object message dot author with ID another object and then message dot author dot ID. All right, now we want to get the channel location as in what channel they were reported in. Channel. Let's just put channel. And let's go ahead and put message.channel we should be good say we wanted a timestamp on there so add field time message dot created at and then of course reason add field reason Could just put reason. All right. All that we should be good. So let's go ahead and make a reports channel. Reports. Create channel. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Oops. All of it. And we're going to make it so we can send that message in a different channel. So let ports channel equal message dot guild dot channels dot find. Okay, so this is a new um argument or not argument, um a new method that we're using. Message dot guild is gonna get that server that this message is being sent in, and then it's gonna search those channels and find let's say back text name and then reports so if reports channel return message dot channel dot send couldn't find reports channel now we want to delete the report message before it actually goes out well, right after it goes out. All right, sorry about that little pause there, but I've been trying to get this to work. I just realized we haven't set up permissions for the bot, so to do that, we're gonna go ahead and make a new role. 
and just call it you can call it bot and then save changes you know you can give a color give it you just want to make sure it has admin or admin not admin um, and then save those changes oops give that role to the bot all right so now we can go ahead and do this so message dot channel or rather delete parentheses dot catch parentheses capital O underscore O and then arrow function and then curly brackets and that's going to delete the last message um, and then we want to send the report so since we have that channel we can go ahead and just do reports oh, if I can type reports channel dot send and then report embed that's just gonna send that embed in the other channel so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and then that should be all good so let me go ahead and close the server or not the server but the bot and then restart it all right so report at TSC bot test test or for being a cool bot all right so it will send that ping unfortunately but that's just something we're gonna have to live with um, but yeah so the report works there's a report embed right there for being a cool bot it got that it got the ID got my ID and that and then the channel that it was reported in general of course and then the timestamp. So we got all of that. The report command is finished. And that's going to be all I have for you today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys on Friday. Peace.